Hey guys, Dungeon J here. Uh, today I'm going to go ahead and start a gameplay series on a TBC server. Now, I had a TBC leveling series that I was doing, but the server merged and they increased the XP on it. So since they did that, I'm having to start fresh on a new TBC server. And this one actually has a lower MS for me, which is really nice. Um, now, I'm not going to name the server. Actually, I'm trying to get away from naming any of the servers. We're just going to call this a TBC leveling series. Now, this server in particular is pretty well populated, uh, but it focuses mainly on PvE, not PvP. From what I understand, the scripting is really good. From what I've seen so far, it looks like it's pretty good. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start this uh, gameplay off as a warlock. I've already hit up the level 4. I've got a couple quests I need to go ahead and do. I need to go get the uh, scavenge goods. i got to go get uh, and kill Samuel Phipps so I can bury his corpse. And then also I have the spiders that I need to slay. So we'll go ahead and we'll dive into the gameplay section of this as well. And mainly the reason why I went ahead and selected Warlock for TBC is I don't think that I've ever leveled from start to finish on a TBC with a Warlock. And I thought it would be pretty interesting to go ahead and add that to it. Now I named the character Slizzard, uh, which is very similar to Blizzard, but it's actually... Uh, the name I've used for a very long time and then they came out with that song from uh, G6 uh, So I thought that was pretty cool, but I've used it because it was basically a knockoff of the word for blizzard in a nutshell But Samuel should be right over here and There he is. It's great. I've got a few add-ons already as you can notice Installed I have Hillbot on for some reason, but actually I really don't need it. I can turn that off um as you can see, I've got a little map down here. That's what I'm going to be using to indicate where I need to go. I'm going to go ahead and keep it up for the gameplay session. But I'm going to go ahead and take out Samuel right now. I hope you guys are doing okay. Now, on these gameplay sessions that I do, I usually do them in around 30-minute segments, give or take. Uh, so if you've watched some of my previous ones, then that's what you can expect. Every once in a while, I might go a little bit longer than that. But I try to keep them within 30 minutes for you guys for your viewing pleasure because I feel like if you go much beyond that uh, you're just diving in deep and I don't know if you're listening to me or if uh, uh, that's something you want to do is listen to me talk about you know the game for an hour straight so I try to keep it kind of contained keep it at about 30 minutes now I gotta get these goods over here I should have no problem the starting area this server has been out for a little while like I said, it does have a decent population. It's under 2K, but the peak is about the same EU or North America, which is really nice. Now, when I started this character the other day, I actually saw a lot more people in the starting area. But this is uh, getting into North America evening. So there's probably not going to be as many people. Now, I'm going to have this video posted. Uh, I'm going to try to upload it tonight and uh, post it uh, by tomorrow morning so you guys should be viewing this sometime in the EU morning time when I'm going into work alright so that was easy enough I went ahead and I collected all those let me see how much bag space I've got real quick got plenty of bag space I think I'm gonna go ahead and dive in and uh, kill the spiders over here on the left Now, I got to tell you guys, uh, after playing uh, vanilla for a little bit, just uh, this movement right here, just this uh, this little animation movement right here, is, it actually it feels very, very smooth. I unsubscribed from retail, so I haven't played on retail in probably a good like four months, somewhere around there. I'd like to resubscribe to really dive into the leveling process from the update. I went and I did a uh, trial. All right, so there's somebody over here killing some spiders. I went ahead and I did the trial just to see what it was like. Should be no problem knocking these guys out of the park. Jolly good. Now, what I really like about this, guys, because uh, I've been having some issues on uh, a vanilla server I've been playing on recently, uh, trying out the warlock over there, is that the pet on this one is doing its job really well. Uh, the, I was having some pet issues with the Warlock on the last server that I was on and I was going to bring a gameplay series with the Warlock on there 
So the issues I was having with that pet were just so uh, immersion breaking. I just couldn't do it, man. I had to step away. So I'm going to go ahead and finish a TBC playthrough. Bring it to your, uh, bring it to the Dungeon J channel. I figure. I figure at least one gameplay video a week of this, maybe two, depending on how my evenings go, uh, in 30 minute segments. Alright, so, I've already got all my buffs set, I'm just trying to get back some quick man to do a couple shadow bolts. Actually, I'm going to throw an emulate on him, I should be able to shadow bolt him once. He's only level 2, and then I'm just going to dagger him out to try to increase my skills a little bit. There we go, beautiful. Respawn rate is still set uh, to a higher di uh, dynamic respawn uh, to deal with the population, which is good. Let's see what happens if we just put an emulate on him and knife him out. Good deal. It's going pretty smooth. Should be able to pound through him like this. Now this guy's a level 3. This might not work out as well. been pretty much learning all my spells as I progress too. Now I'm going to have to dive into the forums and really look at do, what kind of uh, warlock do I want to do. I remember a buddy of mine back in TBC was an affliction warlock and he said he absolutely loved it. So I may go that way but I kind of got the itch for demonology. I'm doing like a demonology uh, spec. I don't know how good it is in uh, TBC though. If it was Wrath, I would probably do Chaos. Just to get that Chaos Bolt, man. I just love it. Alright, so I got one more of these dudes to do. And they're going to dive into the cave over here. We're just blasting through these quests, guys. I love it. Alright, 10 to 10 on those. Good deal, TBC. These are still aggro type creatures. I like uh, having a little bit of a challenge. They're level 4 as well. He poisoned me. One nature damage every 3 seconds. No big deal. My imp is just going to town, man. I love it. Alright, I'm almost full mana again, so I'm going to blast through this guy a little bit quicker. Him with the shadow bolt. Yep, there we go. Good deal. Take him out. Oh, shit. Alright, I may have to run, guys. I don't know. We're going to see how this goes. Hit points are getting kind of low. Alright. Let's see. Good, the imp got him. Now if I can bring this guy down without dying. 38, 36, he's not hitting me too hard. Out of mana. It's now a mono versus a mono with the dagger. Imp is doing just fine, just peachy. We'll let him keep on doing his thing. Okay, man. There we go, beautiful. And the imp took care of business. I love it. See if I can eat this. Alright, so I can't eat it. Up to 44 hit points. 58. I should be okay from here. That was pretty close though, guys. I almost lost it right there. I almost think that the imp's on aggro, but what he's doing is actually doing the defensive uh, characteristics just perfect, guys. Absolutely just perfect. Can't beat that, guys. All right, let's see. Beautiful. All right, let's stab him out. All right, so I've only got one more of these guys to do after this guy's dead. Another green pouch. I've scored. That's exactly what I wanted. All right. I got a dagger in here. Is this better than what I've got right now? It is. Let's put that sucker on. All right, let the imp take care of him, and I'm going to take care of this one.
Imp actually beat him before this guy. Alright. Good deal. So I've completed them all. I've done 8 of 8. I can head back in. I need to bury uh, Samuel Phipps. Did I not get the corpse? Guys, did I not loot the corpse? Okay, so right there it is. I need to go bury this guy. There's a nice little dude. Squeaky clean. An undead priest. Squeaky clean. I like it. Alright, so I should turn these in. And I might actually level and hit level 5 off of these turn ins. Now, one of the things about playing on a TBC server is I'm going to have a little bit of an increased XP rate uh, getting to uh, 60. And then it'll slow back down. Unless they took it out on the server. Some servers actually modify it to where you don't get that increased XP. Now, where's the cemetery? Right here. And there's the mound that I need to bury the body at. There we go. Alright, so the objective is complete. Go ahead and turn this in. What would you ask? Scavenge goods. Done. I'm going to pick up the belt. Trust no one. Let's go ahead and put that on as well. Let's go see what the executor has to say. Alright. We'll get the flax vest. He wants me to go get some armbands. No problem, we can do that. Put that vest on real quick, guys. There we go. I need to go sell some stuff too, but I can sell it to the demon trainer. I'm listening. Alright, so I've leveled up. I'm level 5. I'm listening. Got Curse of Weakness. Let's see, what level is that? Level 6 for this sh the uh, level 2, rank 2 Shadow Bolt. Don't get life tap till level six, which could come in handy. Um, Demon trainer, I've already got the blood pack. Firebolt rank two is level eight, so I won't be able to pick that up yet. I'm gonna go ahead and sell off the goods here. We'll make this happen real quick. All right. Why do I still have some scavenged goods right there? Am I missing something? I shouldn't have that. Might need to discard it. I guess it's just an extra one in my slot inventory, but that makes no sense. Okay, Curse of Weakness. Do I really want to pick it up right now? Reduces the melee attack power by 21. Yeah, I think so, guys. I must also have Corruption, and I haven't put it on the bar yet. Yeah, I do. I have corruption right there. All right, so we'll put the emulate there. We'll put the corruption right there, and the curse right there. Missing any other spells I didn't put down low? No. Still got 14 minutes on my demon armor. That's enough time to go get some armbands. Three bag slot. That's just got to be garbage. I don't know why that's there. Yeah, there's no reason for that to be there. I'm just going to destroy it. If I made a mistake, I make a mistake, but I just think that's uh, something that should be in my inventory right now. It should have been deleted out. All right. So all these guys are very aggressive, but they're not very high level. I should be able to blow through them. Now, the reason why I lead off an emulation on uh, now I know it ain't an issue on this server but it's let's say if you're in a high pop server or something like that the reason I lead with emulation is because it does initial upfront damage and I'm trying to get it out there in case there's uh, a lot of people tagging mobs in front of you you want to be able to do a upfront damage it's really easy on crowded servers if you have a wand but I'm not gonna have a wand uh, till probably like level 12 by around level 12, I'll go ahead and I'll pick up a wand. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take tailoring. I'm going to take some enchanting. Probably going to... Uh, I'm probably going to get cooking. I'm not going to get fishing, guys. If I do get fishing, it'll be for the initial small, low, lower level stuff. Until maybe I can uh, do the uh, sage fish. And then after that, I don't think I'll, I'll be... 
I don't see myself carrying through with that. Not Dodgy Kebab, guys. You know, if you ever watch Dodgy Kebab, he uh he loves him some uh fishing, man. You carry the taint. I love that. It says taint. Of the scourge, prepare to enter the twisting nether. All right. So we're blowing through these guys, man. I'm almost halfway done already. Each one of them is dropping an armband for me. There's a bunch of dudes over there. I'm going to have to come back over and I'm going to have to kill Maven uh, here in just a minute. It doesn't look like anybody's leveling in this area right now. So I'm going to avoid killing him. I'm going to work around over here to the left. Kill these few mobs. There should be a couple in here. Let's see how I do. I don't want to pull them all. Uh, oh, good deal. Let the imp take the hits. Finish him off. Beautiful. All right, and we'll hit her up. Dude, my imp is rocking some hit points, guys. Uh, 267. He can tank it. That's all I could say. Got a lot, a really nice uh, mana pool for him as well. This is one of the uh, fringe benefits to being a warlock: is the ease of leveling. It's almost like being a hunter. Actually, it could be potentially easier than being a hunter. Maybe. I mean, you don't get the great AOE farming that you get like with a frost mage or something like that. This is the first resist I've seen. Okay, I'm gonna pull this guy. There we go. My imp is taking some serious damage, though. Not really. Beautiful. Alright, that's complete. Let's see. Don't really want to pull aggro right now, so we're going to go ahead and go through the side that I cleared. It may still be empty when I return here in just a minute. Yeah, I'm going the right way, okay. Just wanted to check that map. Now, uh, on my add-ons, what I like about this is it shows me the whole map. Not that I really need it at this point, guys, but uh, darkening in those areas. This was my first playthrough through any um, World of Warcraft content. I think, actually, I would prefer it darkened and where you won't see it because that sense of discovery is a big deal learning new areas and exploring new areas but at this point I've pretty much seen all of the uh, TBC content that there is to offer now that's actually not better than what I've got I'm gonna get the forsaken uh, bastard sword the two-hander and sell it give me some free uh, water as well there's the quest to kill maven we'll go ahead and sell this uh, sword real quick there's another Look at that, guys. Another extra armband. So, playing on this server, I really got to uh, be careful about the quest items not being finished out and cleared out of my inventory. Alright, so we're going to dive deep. Go ahead and kill Maven. After we kill Maven, I think he's going to drop a letter, which will be really nice. And that letter is going to be another quest that I get to turn in, if I remember correctly. All right, so we'll clear out the backside here. I love that they say tank, guys. Tank. It's such a uh, it's such a prominent word, man. Tank. Damn. The Scarlet Crusade shall not fail in its mission. I hate to tell you, man. You're going down. Very quickly, it seems like. He's hitting me pretty good, though. Alright, so I got the documents. Which is what they wanted. Alright, so... 
that may be a variance between um, maybe I'm thinking about um, vanilla I think there may be a difference in the quest on how it lines up in vanilla and you get the Scarlet Crusade documents as an extra quest or something like that maybe totally wrong guys I don't know but I'm feeling like documents or something gets dropped and it becomes a quest one of you guys know you can hit it up in the comment section to help me fill in the gaps there all right so we're going to turn this in got a staff now unfortunately you guys may not be aware of this so I'll go ahead and tell you about this a little bit in vanilla and in TBC and and I believe in wrath as well uh, you're not going to start with the initial ability to wield a staff may have changed in wrath and they actually allow it and you're going to have to go to a trainer and learn to wield staffs before uh, you can actually wield them which is a nice little you know immersion aspect I guess so I'm going to go ahead and probably the staff will sell the best now this is vital intelligence this is where they're saying uh, these will need to be taken to my superior in Brill with this information we'll be able to deal a decisive blow to the Scarlet Crusade your services have been useful here in Death Nil but I need someone to deliver this to Zygand and I believe he'll be able to find you a more appropriate work take the road north out la 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 alright so that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and sell this off I don't really need that food let me get rid of that as well now what's this document say right here so directives by the order of the high lord okay so it's just telling me to fortify it so basically it's telling the Scarlet Crusade to fortify the areas around here It's just a letter uh, documenting the movements of the undead in the area. And the Scarlet Crusade is against the Scourge, and they still consider the undead, uh, the now thanking undead Scourge. Which I guess, in a way, is uh, kind of close minded. And probably one of the reasons why um, the undead playable class wants to eradicate all the Scarlet Crusade because the Scar Scarlet Crusade still feels that they're an evil on the land of blight. At this point man they're just uh, some dudes that did some really nasty shit in their prior uh, existence after death and got their minds back and they're just trying to chum it up together in a little community in uh, Undercity. Are they really the bad people here? I think they're the victims. That's the way I look at it. Undead playable race it's just victims guys man they're just trying to find their own they're good people or used to be until they ate their family and then they realized they ate their family and now they're just probably confused and uh, probably a little uh, messed up in the head all right so we're gonna go ahead and deliver the letter to the innkeeper for this guy which is good and then later on I need to come back here and whoop his ass it'll be a quest line later Go ahead and hit out. There's a quest down here at the bottom of the hills to go into the pumpkin patch, take some of the pumpkins. Basically what we're doing is we're trying to short supply the Scarlet Crusade at this point so they don't have food to nourish their armies. Even though we're stealing it from just regular old peasants. That's absolutely gorgeous guys, look at that. That is a beautiful look right there. Yeah, I mean, these are just regular farmers that we were about to go butcher. But behind them is the barracks, uh, a barrack area for the Scarlet Crusade. You know, it'd be really cool if the elite is in there that would be pretty neat I'm gonna go ahead and clear these guys out of the way a little bit I don't want to pull him pulled that guy also alright so I want the imp to take care of him there we go beautiful I'm taking some serious damage guys I may not last I'm dying I'm going down guys. I'm going down. 
Can I run away? Fuck me. Shit on a brick. Alright. There you go, man. TBC experience. You can still die. Oh no, I gotta run all the way back over there to my corpse. It's a full one minute journey. Dude, he broke me down. That farmer said, you're kind of going to steal my pumpkins. I'm going to whoop your ass. I guess being level 5 versus a level 7 might not be a good deal. It was really the double pool. I could have probably ran away, and I could have probably dropped that Curse of Weakness on him. Actually, if I, you know, we were sitting there, and I was sitting there thinking about, do I really need to pick up the Curse of Weakness? I should have used the Curse of Weakness right there to lower his attack power. And I think it could have took him out. But no, I didn't do that. And uh, mistakes were made. And Slizzard is dead. Alright, so we're 12 seconds away from the corpse. 11, 10, 9. Getting pretty close. I'm going to have to resummon my imp. Go ahead and resurrect on the hill right here. Resummon my imp. Alright, let's go ahead and get my uh, demon skin, almost full hit points. I don't know why that still registers 21 hit points on him. It's not reset, that's weird. x pearls not reset the hit points on him. Alright, guys, let's try it one more time. I'm going to lead with Curse of Weakness. I only pulled one this time. Still hit me pretty hard. He's resisting a lot. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay. Let's get the imp in there. Let him lead the charge. Put a curse on him. There we go. Set him up with the emulate. Now see guys what I'm doing? I'm trying to play a little smarter right now. And that's some of the things that you have to do on these uh, older expansions. You have to play a little bit smarter. At least in TBC and Wrath it really didn't matter. Okay, so he's got 41 mana. It's really not enough to do more than two fire bolts. Let's see if I can loot these bodies real quick. Alright, so I got me some shiny apples. I think that's actually a hit point buff. Nope. Okay, so the shiny red apple is not a hit point buff. Let's go ahead and firebolt this guy right here. Let him lead the charge. Hit him with that curse. Beautiful. I'm loving it. Alright, he's only level 5. So he's dropping pretty quick. Alright, let's see. Is there an elite in there? Oh yeah, baby. A level 8 elite. Let's get him. What are you doing? Okay, this is the first time I've actually seen it wig out, guys. I'm not sure what's happening, man. Let's, uh... Let's bring the little shit back over here. Can I hit him? Okay, so he's stuck. Alright, so there we go. Alright, let the imp pull him. Beautiful. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and blast him pretty hard. He actually uh, resisted the uh, corruption. He's resisting a bunch of spells. But there you go. He's going down. Send him with that. Yeah, boy. Severing Axe of the Eagle. That would be a good item to disenchant when I get enchanting here in a few minutes. Now, the leggings are sweet. I love that. Got me some linen cloth as well. Beautiful. All right. I'm going to continue to dive into this section here, guys. I really don't want to pull two mobs at once. 
They're resisting a lot of my spells. Although I'm about to level down here, which is pretty cool. Like a couple more kills. Shiny apples. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, I want my imp to go ahead and kill him while I gather this. Beautiful. Grab this. My imp's hit points are actually kind of low. Go ahead and hit him with the Shadow Bolt. Man, my imp needs to break. There we go. Beautiful. Now there's a bunch of pumpkins right there. I should be able to pluck these guys without pulling aggro. Yeah, no problem. I got these. Making it happen. Alright. We're just going through them, man. Alright, let's put that curse on them. Emulate. Beautiful. Let's see if I can help this guy out a little bit. Oh, you're going down, man. Alright, there we go. Alright, so right now I need uh, three more pumpkins. Two after this one. Be a quick wrap up on this. Let that imp get back some of these hit points. I'm gonna loot the oh. Just not a good day for the imp, man. Alright, let's drop an emulate on him. The big bad 24 crit. Got a uh, cloak. So I'll go ahead and put that on. This should be the last pumpkin I need. And these guys are respawning over here. I'm just going to go ahead and go to the back side. Try to avoid them. No reason to kill them. So I've completed that quest. It needs to be turned in at Brill. And then on top of that. I'm going to have uh, uh, my imp needs to just get away. Because I'm pulling aggro. Come on over here man. Be a good spot to have fear. Put the curse on him so he don't hit me as hard. All right, good deal. All right, put the imp on defensive. He should be catching up to me by now. Where you at? All right, there he is. I'll have to head into the wilderness here in a little bit and actually kill some of these dark hounds. Although I think I'm nearing the 30-minute mark on this video today, so this will be uh, pretty close to the end of the first gameplay for TBC. Thank you for doing your fine job of killing the hounds. I salute you. Alright. Now I know it's not Patches. Is it Patches right here? I don't think his name's Patches. It might be Patches where I get a quest. I'll see him here in a minute. He's an abomination. If you never uh, leveled up in the uh, undead starting areas. There he is. What's the name of the dude? Gordo. Gordo. Not Patches. I, I figured uh, I think Patches is the one in uh, Duskwood. Alright. So Gordo wants me to find three Gloomweed. I will do that for you, Gordo. But I'm not going to do it right now. It'll be out over this way. There's a gloomweed right there. There's another one and there's shit. They're right here, guys. Why not just knock it out? You know what I mean? I'm glad that I can actually see it. Now in vanilla, 
you don't see them, man. So what you have to do in, uh, if you're playing in vanilla, you have to kind of score the horizon and look for it to pick up. I mean, you could probably look for the weed itself, but the weed looks very similar to another weed uh, that's on the ground. So this one actually has sparkles on it. Makes it a little easier to see. There's a rotting dead. What level is that guy? Five? Should be able to pick this right here. Not pull aggro. Alright, so I finished all the gloom weeds. That's also another quest that needs to be turned in in Brill. I'm going to go across the bridge into Brill. Get to the inn. Set my hearthstone. To the Brill Inn. That's always important, guys. And sometimes I actually forget. So that's why I'm saying that. Is uh, Sometimes I forget to go to the innkeeper on the first section and set my uh, hearthstone. And then if I die again... I'm all the way uh, back in uh, Death Nil. Or Death Nail. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce that one. N E. N E L L. Nail? Nil? I'm figuring it's Nil. Except it's not two E's. I don't know. Hit it up in the comment section. Tell me how I'm saying it wrong. Alright, so he's got a quest. Bring some uh, claws to him. There's a quest turn in over here. To the apothecary. Hello, Mr. Holland himself. Very good. We now leveled up. We are now level 6, guys. He wants me to collect 10 doomweed. We can do that for him in just a little bit. Now the alchemist in here, he's got a quest I'm going to turn in for. And he wants me to give him... Give a, uh, I believe, give a dwarf uh, some food. Alright, so filled to grief. Give him the pumpkin. He wants me to take the lace pumpkin to the captured uh, scarlet uh, zealot. And then uh, a new plague. It's being whipped up by Lady Savannah herself. I'm not doing alchemy. There should be an enchanting trainer inside the inn as well what would you ask of death? all right we'll finish that off he wants me to kill 10 of those scarlet warriors now that's going to be on the back side of where the pumpkin patch is this wants me to kill old maggot eye what now? get some scarlet insignia rings from the scarlet warriors See if the mayor has anything for me. Yes. Or the magistrate. What do you have for me? Kill rot high grave robbers. And mongrels. Now we'll head over to the inn. Inside the inn there should be a couple more quests to pick up and turn in. Might as well go ahead and do the dwarf. Or the scar. I don't know if it's the human or the dwarf. It's one of the two. First aid. I don't know if I want to waste on first aid yet. Especially if I'm doing tailoring. Alright, Rogue's Deal. I'm going to give that back to him. Alright, so I think this is the one where he, she wants me to go back and kill a boy or, or rough him up or something like that. I'm going to go ahead and make this in my home. Got some stuff to sell, but first off, I'm going to go down low. Okay, so it's the human, not the uh, dwarf. Give him the lace pumpkin. Alright, let's see if this actually happens and he turns. And just, yeah, look at that. Alright, good deal. Nice. I don't feel right. My mind, my flesh. I'm rotting. Yes, yes you are, my friend. You should die. If it works correctly. This should kill him. Yep, there we go. Alright. Good deal. Let me go to uh, the innkeeper. I'm going to go ahead and uh, browse some of the goods here and sell some stuff. I'm going to get rid of the pants. I need that for cooking. I'm going to use that for disenchanting. Alright, let's see. Warrior trainer. Maze trainer. 
not high enough level for this quest yet. Here's a warlock trainer. So I need to go ahead and get live tap, shadow bolt. Do I need to change the rank down low? Nope, it automatically does it for the TBC. Demon trainer, is there anything new over here? No, it was level eight. So we're done over there. And then in this room, should be the enchanting trainer. Go ahead and train that up. All right, so I've got enchanting. Go ahead and throw it on my bars real quick, guys. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and disenchant that sword. Loving it. I'm loving it. Lesser magic essence already, guys. That's great. I need to go ahead and put the Will of Forsaken down here, too. So I'll put it in my... Uh, Put it in my Z. Alright guys. Well, I'm at the end. I've got a bunch of quests I need to go out and explore on. We'll dive in that uh, in the next episode. Um, see where we start from there. But uh, this is the first episode of my TBC leveling series that I've relaunched. Uh, this is probably be the last series I do as far as uh, leveling series go for any World of Warcraft content until vanilla servers, uh, the legacy server releases. Maybe. We don't know. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay session. Uh, like I said, I'll be bringing it one to two of these a week uh, to my channel. And uh, I'll see you next time. This is uh, Dungeon J. I'm signing out. Guys, have a great day gaming. Later.